guys, this is Ori from Ori Plays Games, and today I'm going to show you how I made this sweater. Ta-da! It is super comfy and perfect for the holidays. Uh, let's get started. I selected the sweater, and then um, before doing any tools, I just um, scrolled through and tried to look for a color palette that I like, um, and, um, I ended up choosing this one because it has a nice creamy color. First step I did was to fill, um, all of the sides with, um, this cream color by using the fill all tool and using the right toggle just to switch to all of the different parts so the sleeves and the back side um, and the front side um, and then next I just um, started with the edges by just clicking pen tool and then clicking the biggest pen tool um, and then just choosing a color that I liked um, I think I'm gonna go with this color for now uh, and you just want to fill up to the edge um, of course you can also use this copy tool so you just click on this um, and then click Y to copy and then just um, select and to um, oh I think I got it yeah just copy it there and then um, just want to go to the bottom here um, and then do the same thing on the bottom so it's filling in three pixels and then I've got one extra pixel um, on top and then to just copy it again I'm clicking swap copy and then copy oh hold on yeah and then just press A to copy it so we have all of that and now to work on the top, um, I find the top to be a little bit trickier. I'm using the mirror tool and I'm going to use a smaller um, version of the pen tool. And I think the easiest way to do this is honestly just to like try to fill it out from the center. And then you're gonna hit the bottom and then you're just gonna go in and just like fill in everything and then you know you just kind of like kind of eyeball it so like you did the um the longest part like that's not what you want right so then you go to the next part and then you kind of keep going fill it in more and then you see oh it goes over the line so you don't want anything there this one too this one as well and this one this one um and you just kind of eyeball it and then you kind of are like, oh, it looks good. <laughs> and then you go to the back. Uh, unfortunately, the back and the front, I don't think it's like exactly the same, but like, you know what? Let's just try it. So if we copy this and then just copy it let's close and see what happened to the back seat. Like, if that is not going to work. For us, but it did save some time so then um, just click on the beigey color 
and then um, we don't want that part. Oh, hold on, what am I editing? I am editing the wrong side, guys, don't do that. Um, just look at the picture and make sure the, the side without the um, two dots um, is selected when you edit the back and then come back. Oh, am I doing that again? Oh my gosh, I'm so silly. Sorry guys. Okay, um, let me go to the back. There we go. Okay, um, still looking kind of weird, so, you know, you kind of just keep fixing it and then you can kind of see this section here. It's like kind of coming out here. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the basic, um, part of the sweater and I think that actually works really well for like any sweater. Now for the tree, click on green and um, instead of using the pen tool, you can always um, also use the line tool um, which could kind of save some time. So you just press A um, and then you come down. And when you're kind of happy with it, then you press A, and then A, and then press A, oops, press A, and make sure the line is like following you like that. Um, nothing is being drawn until you let go and you press A like that. Press, press, like that, and then press A. And you want to go down again. Yeah. Maybe here. Or maybe. Not too big. Um. Wait, let's try that again. Um, hold on. I'm gonna start from here. Wait, is that the same tree? How about from all the way in the middle here? Oh, that makes it look really thin. How about third block. One, two, three. Press A. I think that's good. Yeah. Fill it in. And then just use the fill tool. To fill it in. And that looks really good. Um, and then now I'm gonna press that R, get rid of the mirror, and then just use this pen tool to put some decorations on the tree. Um, just wanna see like kind of what looks good. Um, you might want like a more colorful tree and that's like totally awesome I'm just going for something really simple here come to look at this now it kind of reminds me of um Philbert's sweater that he always wears in my in my island um and then um you just want to do the bottom if you want I mean it's like completely up to you um, but yeah I think I'm just gonna have a trunk for this tree like this and yeah 
yeah, that's like basically the sweater. Um, so you can always um, change the color palette and see what it looks like in other colors. Um, oh, that's really cute. You might be really pleasantly surprised. Um, um, I think I like the original one. This one is very nature friendly. And then this one is also really cute. So I'm gonna show you guys both. Um, let me just click done. Um, I'm gonna call this um just C H Y oh sorry C H tree and I will wear it Yep so it looks like this nice and cozy Great for the winter and rainy days, <laughs> see for Christmas. And um, I will also show you the other color version of this sweater. And this is version 2. Um, which is also really, really cute. Um, so yeah, those are the two designs again. Alright guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that tutorial. Um, this is a super comfy sweater for the holidays. Uh, remember, you can always modify it, change up the colors, add more things. Um, if you do use it, please let me know and don't forget to credit me as well. And um, leave your um, design um, code in the comment section if you have any um, you can share it with other people um, I don't have Nintendo online so I don't think I can share the code yet but I'm very happy to share this tutorial with you so thank you so much for watching and if you guys like this type of content please let me know um, if there's anything else you want to see also please leave me a comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time Okay, take care!